Greetings in Christ, saints of the Most High, yeah. This is Lily of the Valley, and I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos lately, because as you can see, you got to learn to take care of your own household first before you can take care of everybody else. So, it took three years, but now, in the third year is when you'll be able to harvest some of these things and feed yourself. That's how long trial and error takes. So, we're going to be looking at things to harvest, and this is cocoa edo. And we're going to harvest the leaves and freeze them, and... Maybe some of the roots. The leaves are edible and the roots, but it scratches. So when you're harvesting these things, the dasheen leaf and the coca leaf, you got to wear gloves. And you have to use your scissors and your gloves and don't let it touch your skin. When you're cooking the leaves, you got to cook them for about like maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Because these things will scratch your mouth. So that's one. And then... We're gonna harvest that and um, this is my harvest station that I'm setting up right here so this is my screen door that I need to put on back on the house you know construction going on too so half of it is gone and these doors I think before the pandemic they were like 400 and something to maybe 2,000 they're really heavy metal steel so for now, it'll be the harvest station. I got to wash them down. These are the baskets. I find a lot of these at like the secondhand stores. So sometimes I'll use them for the plants from the bigger pests, the little pests. It doesn't really help. You have to use the mesh for that. So I'm going to wash this, then put and label what I put in each basket to dry. Some of them are going to dried some of them are going to be cut up green and frozen okay so this is ready to harvest as well this is the golden rod and that is the um the tall one in the middle is wild lettuce so i gotta harvest that too and i got pumpkin over I don't like the leaves but you can still boil the leaves which I didn't know that so every day you learn something new they scratch though they're very scratchy under the bottom so that's for another time and then I have um, to harvest this as well right here this is the golden uh, no, this is, um, what is this called again? Yellow passion flower. So I have to harvest those leaves as well. And the ones that are evergreen, I'll just leave them in the ground and let them stay there. This is tropical passion fruit. Which I gotta put them in separate containers as well. And of course, I forget to label things, so whatever these are, I'll have to figure them out eventually. So for today, that's gonna be what um, we'll be harvesting soon. And this is the compost pile or the compost hill. We just throw stuff in here after we eat like so and it's become a food hill so hey the way still becomes the food hill of course a lot of pests are in here as well but that's um how the garden of eden functions yeah i call this the garden of eden because every type of critter comes in here once you start growing food they be like, thank you for growing it. See what I mean? I don't even know what that thing is. These pests, they come from all over. See? So I got to get another pest up to identify them. So these need harvesting as well. Because they will take over your entire yard. And we have a lot of mint. 
because I gotta harvest a lot of these mints as well so yeah it takes a lot of trial and error it takes a lot of praying and just don't give up you know the most I will come and bless you with food when you need it the most he says he takes care of the birds and the bees and the ravens what about you he'll take care of you too that's um jackfruit leaves so anybody who wants some of these things when we have extras we'll be selling them or exchanging them or bartering them so if you need anything to buy barter exchange from what i have which i have a ton of stuff you can send me an email at zikapukibu at protonmail.com mosquito or you can leave it in the comment section so yeah so we have to harvest a lot of these and dry them and somebody says well this is comfy leaves so all these things in here gotta be harvested you get the seeds from the carrot so we're gonna put those in some dried area area where it can dry and then um this is coming in i think this is um ground cherry this is Congo, Congo peas so you gotta keep trying don't give up if i can grow things anybody can grow things because guess what is book 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 i was miss book 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 but i can't eat the books i gotta look and take the information out of the book and use it to survive for me and my household and the children of israel and the believers in the earth because the most i said the knowledge is already here so we just gotta use it see what our forefathers did look at joseph he planned for the famine Abigail, she had food to feed David and his men. Jesus said we mustn't forget about husbandry. And we must take care of the sick, the widows, the orphans, the sick, the shut in. So if we don't know how to take care of them, when the Most High give us the knowledge, how are we even going to take care of our households? Uh-huh. So... These things are what we do. We try and try until we succeed to grow our own foods. Okay, Some of them are coming in now and some of them are ready to harvest. Okay, So with that I say shalom, self-sufficiency, pray to the Most High for guidance and help and give Him thanks. You know, I give the Most High thanks for all these foods that He's provided us with. So when you need it the most you have it if you ask and be holy be righteous so that when you pray the most i can bless your food bless your womb bless your water and you know righteousness exalted a nation but sin is a reproach to any people so when you see sin happening just don't look far it's because um destruction comes behind sin Okay, so with that I say, have a wonderful day, be blessed, and give thanks and praises to the Most High Jehovah who provide us with these things, so that it's harvested as well. I think that's German Shamalaya.